Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created the perfect Snake AI using the A-Star Pathfinding algorithm. Snake is a simple 2D arcade game where there is a snake in a game board and there are apples on the game board and the snake needs to eat the apples and each time it eats an apple, it elongates by one square. And the game is won when the snake body fills up the entire game board. So, I'm obviously not the first person on YouTube who has attempted to create a snake AI. And I've seen many videos on YouTube which have tried to do this. So, I've seen YouTube videos which use evolutionary slash genetic algorithms, which use NEAT, reinforcement learning, or deep Q learning. Now, these approaches can be used to create a pretty good snake AI, but I want to create the perfect snake AI. So, I'll be using a different approach. Next is using a Hamiltonian path cycle. So a Hamiltonian path is a path that goes through each point on the game board exactly once and the path ends where it starts. So the snake simply has to follow this path to win the game. The apples will always be on the path and the snake will never collide with itself. So after following the path, the snake will eventually win. However, this is a pretty boring approach and I won't use this as well. Finally is the A star pathfinding algorithm. So this is, I believe, the most exciting approach. So the A star pathfinding algorithm is an algorithm which looks for the shortest possible path between two points. It prioritizes paths that go towards your target position and it also prioritizes paths which are shorter. And the A star pathfinding algorithm is generally considered to be the most efficient pathfinding uh, algorithm in computer science. So now I'll be creating the snake game in p5.js as well as implementing the A star pathfinding algorithm. So this approach has a lot of issues, but let's just see the AI in action. So the AI has failed because there's no direct path between the snake's head and the apple. I changed the algorithm such that it finds the longest possible path between the snake's head and the snake's tail. This way the snake never gets trapped. And this algorithm actually works surprisingly well as you can see. However, there are small gaps between the snake's body. The algorithm works by finding a path each time the snake's head reaches the previous snake's tail's position. I decided to change it such that it finds a path every single frame once the snake reaches a length of 600 pixels out of 800 pixels. So by looking for a new path every single frame once the snake reached a certain length, definitely slowed down the algorithm, but this managed to create the perfect snake AI. Now I've recorded my snake AI in action and you can see it here.
Thank you.